Alright, welcome to this tutorial on hacking Firefox. In this in future videos I'm going to show you some of my favorite hacks and maybe teach you a few others. Today I'm going to show you how to speed up Firefox without messing around with the rest of your computer. Instead of in essence, instead of uninstalling programs, you want to take advantage of the free memory on your computer. So here we go. Bear with me here, I'm just gonna switch over to my desktop. And I'm going to bring up Firefox. Alright. So once Firefox is up in the address bar, type in about coin config. The phrase about coin config. Here we go. Now, this this is recommended for advanced users, but this is actually pretty easy to do. And um, well, as you see down here, it says browser.startup.homepage. You can change it from here as well. So basically, there's three ways you can change it: by clicking and holding on the little icon in the address bar and dragging that onto the home button changing it in the about.config or doing tools options and use current page but that's not my favorite hack I am actually going to do browser dot disk dot disk dot and now here it is browser dot cache dot disk dot capacity right now the type is integer status is user set because I actually set it to I think that's five million or five hundred thousand I'm not really sure and um just double click on the value and just put something in like, I don't know, 550, something like that, 5 million 50, and I'm going to go to yahoo.com, and it loads it much faster. Alright, so that's it for, well, actually no, that's not it, damn, I want to show you another hack. I'm going to do another example of the down here. I'm just going to change the uh, home page to yahoo.com just to show you how easy this is. Open up a new tab, control T, and single click on the, the little house and it opens up Yahoo. I'm going to go back, change my home page. Back to Ustream dot TV Control T Control H. Oh wait, that's history, never mind. And so you'll click on the home. Hold on a sec, I misspelled Ustream. I'm gonna go back here. And now it will work. There we go. 
and here's the Ustream homepage. So, I am actually going to close that and Google something in the middle of the video, and this will actually show you how to do this as well as me. Sorry about that technical glitch, folks. Alright, here we go. Now, from the start menu, what you do is click run. Oh, damn. I'm just going to type run in the search bar. Oh, wait, that's right. Hold on. Um. This is for Windows Vista, by the way. I believe. Alright, so here's the profile that I'm using on Firefox. There's all my stuff. Extensions. Bookmark backups. Bookmarks.html. Bookmarks.back. Blocklist. Cookies. Key3. All that good stuff. That's where all my stuff is. That's my file. Firefox. So now I'm going to load up the file manager. This is the guy we want right here. So I'm going to do. Vista. Now, see that at the top of the page, it lists starting the profile manager, and then it had lists Windows Vista, 98 ME 2000 XP, Mac, and Linux Ubuntu. So, it it would be pretty much the same for all Windows platforms. I'm not sure about Ubuntu and uh, Mac. But I'm just gonna go ahead, ahead copy the string, and hit the you start button on my keyboard paste that there and here's the profile manager for Firefox I'm going to go ahead close out Firefox Control paste Manicam uh, paste and it should work and it does not want to Run. Okay. Now, normally the profile manager would come up, but Firefox is not going to work on me today. And with the profile um, manager, you can actually make multiple profiles, delete existing profiles, and, and every time, so, and you can set it up so when someone launches Firefox, it'll ask, ask them for their them. profile, and so on. So, with that done and said, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or, or any ideas, ideas for future tutorials, email me at infinity.tech. 08 at gmail.com that is infinity.tech 
at gmail dot com. Thank you. And email again is infinity.tech at gmail.com. See you later. Peace.